through to cricket's National Village Cup final at Lords. They beat Oxford Downs by 49 runs in case of third time lucky. The National Village Cup semi-final and for Oxford Downs, the unfamiliar gaze of the national media. This after Finden had won the toss and opted to bat at Long Furlong outside Worthing. Their opener John Rogers on the right has played here 33 years on a ground that has a slope to rival Barnett's Underhill. And this time he sloped off after making just a single. Uh, well, the ball was up to me and I decided that anything up was going to go, so unfortunately it didn't. It just went straight up in the air, so back in the hutch early doors. Every dog has its day. What would it mean to Finden to finally have theirs at Lords after two losing semi-finals? A question for a famous fan. Oh, wonderful. Oh, what can you say? <laughs> Fantastic. Luckily, tonking like this reassured the locals. But with 18-year-old Tim Hardy taking five for 35, the 40-over target still looked modest. Oxford Downs will begin in about 20 minutes, chasing one for two. I think we just need a solid start, really, and then hopefully push on through the innings. And who are the men to get you the runs? Uh, these two out there at the moment. They've been doing it for us in the previous round, so... But with the Oxford openers failing, so did the rest. The procession back was frequent and forlorn. 93 all out of feeble reply, meaning Finden, and now we're going to Lords with three brothers. One of them the captain, who thought that after the last four defeats in 2003 and 4, the chance had gone. <laughs> to lead the side out at Lords. When you think of some of the players that have done that over the years, you know, some of the great international cricketers. And just to work out there, I don't know, I'm a bit, I'm a bit numb at the moment, really, to be honest. It means a lot. I mean, as you can see for the, for the crowd, it's uh, fantastic. But on a, on a personal note, for me and, my, uh, me and my two brothers, it's certainly a long way for, uh, from playing in the back garden at number, uh, number 8 Hillside Avenue. As well as Graham and Steve, Nigel is the third waller. And now only Woodhouse Grange from North Yorkshire can prevent them and Finden from landing the National Village Cup. Jeremy Langdon, Sky Sports, Sussex. They talk about um, three brothers at number eight, Hillside Avenue, or whatever it was. I'd hate to be number nine and number ten. Have my ball back, please. That's, that's very true. <laughs> emotional Josh Gifford there was there. Imagine how emotional the former uh, great National Hunt trainer will be if they win that final at Lords. He used to train at Findon. His son uh, Nick Gifford does now, so that's why he was clearly so emotional, because yeah. Findon obviously means the world to him. Loves his cricket as well. Josh Gifford. Now, imagine Yuvraj Singh with, might be shedding a few tears. In the dressing room at the moment, the Indian dressing room that in, he was run out. He called...